Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 35 episode 3. In the previous episode we got this cell block done as well as all the centre bit put in and this one is almost done. Basically we got enough done to hopefully get some prisoners this episode. In fact I've already made that decision. I'm already getting 24 prisoners in the next couple of, uh, well minutes I guess because it's uh, going to be sped up. So we've got a little bit of prep to really crack on uh, f before we do that one. And I've just realised that this, is this one? One, two, three, four. That is in the wrong place. These doors need to be dismantled and moved up. Hmm. Or oh, this is a little bit longer. It could be that. Hang on. Nope, they're just in the wrong place. Okay, we'll crack on with that one. Yeah, so uh, in the previous episode, we did get a lot of stuff done, but with... <laughs> With the imminent arrival of prisoners, I really want to speed things up even even faster than I'm uh, you know normally doing things because I really want to get stuff finished before they turn up. As soon as they turn up, it makes building an absolute nightmare. So let's just crack on waiting for them to remove all of that. We're going to put a door on there and a door on there. And then we are going to speed it up to max speed. We've got 61,936 generic units of currency, more than enough to basically get most of this uh, most of this stuff done. Uh, basically the entire prison we could pretty much finish off, but I really, 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 really need to, need to get other things done, like chapel. We need to get that chapel put in. We need to get parole put in, which is going to be there. We need to get a reception, definitely, which is going to be there. And then we need to get a mail room, which is there. And then a shop, which is going to be here. And I need to furnish all of these things. We haven't got a laundry, which is going to be this. And we haven't got a classroom, which is actually going to be this. Now, I've, I've been very... I've been tempted not to get a classroom. Because, well, a lot of people are saying we should have it so... You know, we, we don't teach the prisoners. If you don't have a classroom, then you don't need a library and such. And I was thinking, well, actually, they're right. You know, we could save a bit of space. And then I thought, why do we need to save space? The whole point is that I've planned this prison out to, you know, a very... You know, a high level of detail, I think. We've got everything we need. We don't need to save the space. We don't actually have classroom unlocked, so we better get on with that one. We don't have classroom unlocked. So we might as well get on with it. I'm going to vote for permanent punishments as well. Yeah, we, we might as well get it. There's no reason not to, really. You know, well, the only reason why we uh, would want to save space is if we have a... You know, we, we want to put in other, other rooms... But we don't have any other rooms to put in. We've got pretty much every room we can have. So, yeah, we might as well just follow on with the des plan des uh, design, the overall design. I'm going to get some of the major stuff put in, like the cookers here. I realise that these weren't actually supposed to be fridges. They were supposed to be cookers. So I'm going to probably change them. I'm going to put that and that in. And then I want to dismantle the fridges. I'm trying to click on the fridge there, dismantle that. Obviously, I want all the workmen to get this stuff done first. Because <laughs> otherwise, we're going to have a really, really big problem later on. Right, so, cooker. There and there. Uh, this little area here, by the way. Got a little gap. That's because we've got an offset door. But I want to put in a bin. There we are. And then the rest, we will put in fridges. So, fridges will go... Three fridges, three fridges, but then we can put more in there if we need to. I think that's more than enough freezer space, to be honest with you. I think that's more than we would ever need, ever. It's more fridges than I've ever had, probably, but that will do for now. All right, so we'll connect that up there, we'll connect that up there. That should actually be everything put in, I think, apart from there. Yeah, we're about right. Okay, and that's why I actually did all of the things down the bottom. Because as you can see, the, uh, the the requirement for power is going up. Right, what else do we need to do quickly? We have uh, less than 12 hours remaining until prisoners turn up. Obviously, I'm, I'm in control of that. I can always turn it off. But I like uh, putting it under a bit of pressure. So let's get a common room put in. And follow the same design as what we've got on the other side here, which is simply some benches and then a pool table. And then we want televisions. Yep. So, televisions. 
like that. I think we'll do it on the other side as well. How far does that go? We could have then... I don't mind televisions being in here, but I don't like the idea of uh, us having... I don't like the idea of having the uh, phone booths in here. For some reason, I don't know why. It just doesn't really seem right. But we'll see. Uh, put some more benches in. Oh, we could get rid of them. And we could have a couple of phone booths at the back. Yeah, it seems to fit in. Then they've got everything, haven't they? Yeah, why not? I also am very aware that if this kicks off and they hit the drains, it's going to then creep onto here, which is then going to flood the entire area and cause electrocution and fire. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Right, okay, so... We need to get governmental security rating, which is assigned dogs and other things, so we should probably get on with that. Have I, why have I got eight radios? Ah, it's because I've ordered radios instead. You saw it, didn't you? Yes, you did, and you were saying, no, you're placing the wrong thing there. Oops. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're going to place radios in other people's rooms anyway. So we will put these in there. And obviously there's another one to dismantle. Come on. See, I look at the symbols rather than... It's weird, I'm, I, I just look for the symbols rather than anything else for the, the, for, than the text. Because I'm used to how it looks. Right, okay, so... Even though they don't look similar. Nah, I made a mistake, whatever. So, shop, mailroom, library, chapel. Chapel first, because it is one of the most useful things in the game, if not the most useful thing in the game. In terms of stopping prisoners fighting, let's get some pews. See, it's not why It's just not wide enough to fit stuff in that way, so what I'll do... God, these pews are massive, aren't they? Pews are generally big, I, I'm, you know, you understand, but still. Altar there. Nah, put pews in first. That's the front, right? I think that'll be about right. That's the pews. And then an altar goes there. And then we can have a prayer mat either side, which looks like a big carpet, which is all it really is. Um, <laughs> it's not. I'm guessing there's some significance to it, but for me, it's just a carpet. Right. We need to have an entrance to the mail room. Oh, sorry, an entrance to the library, really, isn't it? But we need to furnish the library first. We could get some sorting desks. We do need some library bookshelves. So bookshelves, is there a gap there? Don't think there's a gap at all, is there? No, there's no that. There's no gap at all there. So we're gonna have to change the shelves and put them like that. And then sorting desk in the middle. Yeah, that works out. We don't need to have. It doesn't need to be too big, so that'll do. That's a not bad, uh, bad one there. That's that. And then this one in here requires for the mail room sorting tables and tables. What's that noise? Oh, it's the gardener. I was thinking, what the hell is that choo, choo, choo noise? It's the gardener. Um, right, centre bit. Uh, why is that saying visitor tables? Oh, to finish off the visitor centre. Might as well do that while we're on it. Actually, I'll get patrol, uh, I'll get the parole done as well while we're here. Parole. Like that. Makes sense. And for sake of looks. Find a cabinet at the back. Looks pretty cool. Right. Mail room. Shop. You know what? I'm going to ignore it. I want to go over here and get our security up and running. Armory. And kennel. I really do want to get these up more than any other things. So, I can never... I don't know which way is the right way. I wish there was an arrow to show you which way the dog crate was facing, because it doesn't really tell you. Hmm. Yeah, because they're identical. <laughs> I have no idea. I really don't know. 
which is the right way. That maybe. It's going in. There we go. And then the armory. Now the armory. I always. I always look at the armory and go. Oh yeah, weapon rack. You can't spin it around, which is a big pain. I always go. Who an armory? I don't really want an armory, but you know, we're getting one. Actually, you know, I do like an armory, but I really, really want a bigger armory, actually, by the look of it. I guess I could, if I want to, make this an armory, and that is the dog kennel. No, it's not big enough. Yeah, I always look at the armory and think, ooh, this is so risky. And it is a risky thing. You know, if they take over the armory, I am screwed. Right, anyway, so uh, I think we're going to get some more staff. There's some guards. And we want dog handlers. Four dog handlers, I think. We'll go for deployment. Dog patrols. Obviously, we're going to have a dog patrol going right up. Might not be obvious to you, but the reason we're having it is to sniff for contraband. There we are. Just expand this one a little bit. There we are. We could do the same here, but I think that should do it. That's two dog patrols. Don't really need another two. We could have one going around the outside. Actually, what I want to do, that's what I will have. I'll have someone going there. A dog patrol going all the way along the outside like that, right? And what that will allow me to do is smell for tunnels. I think that's about right. Arm patrols. Going to be slightly different. We are going to have an arm patrol. Like that. Do I want it like that? Oh, we'll just have it on the same on the same area there, I think. And we do need to hire some armed guards. Staff, armed guards. Max hired already, yes, because they haven't built that yet. Okay. So, raise my capacity to 50. I'm not even halfway there yet. Uh, assign three prisoners to laundry, kitchen, and cleaning cupboard. I haven't got the cleaning cupboard. I haven't yet got laundry. It just exi it, it exists in terms of it's a room, but that's it. We haven't even got the this area here done yet, which is the reception. Reception requires office desk, table, and chair. So table can go either side. Office desk right in the center. Actually, you know what? No. I'll put that there. Chair to go behind. And then a table right at the back. Because it's out of the way. Alright, there we are. We haven't yet got metal detectors, which I should have really put in before now. But well, let's see if we can get that done. There's so much stuff I'm trying to build. Ah, uh, so little time. Right. Where's the metal detectors? See, it's just a search for it. Bit of money here. And I've actually realised I'm actually I am I am I am running out, which is a weird one. It's not weird. I mean, you know, I'm, I don't have unlimited funds, but yeah. Right. So I need to assign two armed guards. This is interesting. I need to assign two armed guards to get that grant done. So I've basically got no money at the moment, but I will. Re I'll be receiving twenty-four grand when all these guys turn up. So let's go for our policy. If you do anything wrong, then you get. A bit of, well, meal quantity is medium, variety is medium. Actually, with variety, we'll say, we'll say high for the quantity. If you get destruction, you get solitary. Any of this stuff at the top, you get solitary. The bottom one, you'll get lockdown. But we're going to be harsh here. Six hours, if we find you with anything, right? Okay, simple as you like. Destruction. You're going to get 12 hours. Right? Escape attempt. You will get RSI trying to get 24 hours. And the same thing for this. Ah, oh, come on. Attack prisoner. You get 24 hours. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because... Oh, hammer the mouse. We, uh... <laughs> we want to really, really hit home that you should not attack anyone. And if you do, if you try and game the system by going, oh, well, you know, we can attack prisoners and we're they're going to be out for a couple of hours. No, 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 no. You're going to have a lot of uh, time out. 
Prisoner cut, uh, pro our parole cut off will be 15%, I think. That's probably a reasonable amount. Right, we need to get our regime up and running. So we want sleep up until one, two, three, four, five, six hours of sleep. And then there we are. And then we'll have an hour of shower, an hour of free, two hours of free. Then we'll work, four hours of work, then eat. Then four hours of work. Mm, actually, we'll have that, and we'll have a lockdown in the middle. We want to lock up after eat. You eat, you get lock up. There you go. Could do a little bit more lock up if I wanted to. But I think we're about right there for a regime. The reason I've got work either side of it is because I do actually want to assign prisoners to work in here. But yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Right, so the work we're going to have to crack on and really finish off some of this stuff here. And as you can see, it is actually pitch black inside this, uh, inside the yard. I'm going to put some lights in. Actually, I'm not because it's going to be a nightmare to light and because we're going to have to actually run some cables and stuff. Okay. So, it looks like I don't think I'm going to get the reception done by the time the prisons turn up, but we'll see what happens. We just need to connect some electrical cable here. In fact, we won't there because that will join up to that side. This one we will need to, though. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just for sake of completeness, we're going to do that, you see. Which mirrors the other side. Yeah, just in case that gets damaged, which it won't, because you can't damage power cables. Okay, reception's almost done. Prisoners are going to turn up any second. And as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff coming down here. What I think we're going to do, we're going to actually go to brick wall and drag that all the way down and put some road uh, gates at the end of it. But yeah, we'll have to do that once we get a bit of money. We can. I realise there's no lights in here, actually, as well. And... There we are. That one can't have a light because it currently isn't a room. It doesn't do anything. Is it a room? don't think it's a room. Well, it is a room, but you can't get into it, so it's pretty useless in terms of rooms go. <laughs> yeah, in terms of rooms, it's fairly useless. Right. So we're going to have to lock open a couple of these doors because we've just about received prisoners, and there we are. We've now received some prisoners, which means we're going to have to lock open some of these doors. There we go. We now have our first set of prisoners. All of them are high risk, and we might even have some gang members. Hopefully we will. Nobody ever said that before. Hope hopefully we'll have some gang members. No, I don't, don't really want them. So, let's have a quick look. We have Gareth Luther with an unknown reputation. There's a gang member already. Benjamin Land. We've got Marco... Pakian, Paul Cleef, Gareth Steele, one gang member so far. Oh, no, no. We have two members of Blue Gang and one member of Green already. Aston Tottenham, Aston Sandy, uh, Claire Henson. Aston, why are there loads of Astons? Uh, Loki, Cruden, uh, and there's an O'Brien there as well. Coco O'Brien. There's loads of prisoners. How many gangs? Two, oh, we've got three gang members. Two blue, one green. Okay, right. So they won't make plays at the moment because of the way it works. They just won't make plays until they have like a leader. But we'll see... If that is the case or not. I've been told that it can, they can still do it. And they do. But yeah, we'll see. So they're all going to get escorted to their cells. As you as you imagine. Um, that has failed to have weapons racks and things like that. But I don't know why. They just, I just, they're just not getting on with it. That's why. Looks like we've already found. The metal detectors are already going off. That guy's got a knife. Looks like they weren't getting searched until that was finished off. So that's okay. Well, that's not okay, but we've got some stuff there. Right, I want to go to staff. I want to go to armed guards. I want to hire some armed guards. Come on, please place that. Why have they not placed it? They should be getting on with that first. Danger level's going up. We will need to hire two more cooks. 
And we need to go to deployment. Actually, no, it's in uh, logistics these days. Prison labor. We're going to assign them to that. Assign them to the laundry. Assign them to the shop. Assign them to the mailroom. Assign them to the library. Okay, everybody's assigned now. Obviously, that centre bit is staff only, so we need to change that to shared. There we are. All this is fine. Laundry's fine. All of that is classed as staff only. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so we need to assign uh, prisoners to a cleaning cupboard. Now, we could be a bit cheeky, and we could make that a cleaning cupboard. Currently don't have a purpose, that room. So, actually, it's not cheeky, is it? It just makes sense. Do you want to make that a cleaning cupboard? I think I do. I don't see why not, and it means we can uh, have some... Prisoners in there. And it means that... Uh, where's our deployment? We get another grant done. And the prisoners work. Okay. Yeah, why not? That seems to function, right? Okay, so... We have our prisoners. 24 of. We have them working. We do not yet have a classroom. So we should really get on with that one. We will designate that as a classroom. But... We need to get the shop done first. We need to actually furnish these rooms. I've designated a lot of them, but we don't yet have... Oh, we don't yet have any armed guards either. Come on, get on with it. Are they going to get on with it? <sighs> They're really not going to get on with it. <laughs> we need automatic door openers as soon as we can, don't we? We need these armed guards. Oh my good God, what the actual ass has happened? Ah, Gareth Luther is a snitch. I didn't see that, but to be fair, I didn't look at them all. A lot of these got unknown reputation. That guy's just been shanked. Wow. Well, that happened. These guys are going to get solitary. 48 hours for attacking prisoner and serious injury. And that guy's got murder as well. Wow. <sighs> this is um getting violent already. So, I'm... Uh, Buying some armed guards now, obviously, uh, <laughs> because we need to get some <laughs> in as quickly as possible to get the suppression effect going. I want to go for a deployment. Guard patrol, we need to get an armed guard patrol in there. There we are. That should do us. And we're getting a lot of body armor getting bought here. All of the guards are going to get that. Now, we have Lance Bubble Pants Reed. <laughs> And what has he done? Murder. Wow. Yep, he's the one that did it. Let's check these. Neil A, B, D. Hit it. I'm just checking to see if any of these will become a confidential form. None of them will. None of them really care for that. Oh, well, that's uh, it's fine, I guess. Right, so. Can we go to gangs? Here we go. Here's the gang stuff. So we can see... All of the gang readouts now. So when you look at them, it tells you who controls what. So as you can see, that there is controlled by guards, because there is more guards there than anyone else. And the max is two. That is the cutoff for control. So none of these gangs have any ability, really, to take over these areas. But that might change, because we will be receiving more prisoners. Not yet, and while we're on about that, I'm going to close my intake, because otherwise we're going to have a serious problem with it. But yeah. Uh, right. Cool. So, gangs are in. Gangs are working. We need to, I guess we'll get the shop up and running. So, we want a shop front, which will go there. And then we need a table, shop shelf. And... That's it, really. Shop shelf will go either side. Should do on about? Can we have it like that? No, we can't. These rooms are just too small. Bit of a shame. So, like that, like so. Have one at the back and a table in the centre. Okay, there's a shop. Mail room requires uh, a table. I'll have a table either side and. Sorting desks. And... Simple one, right? Mail room's actually probably a bit too big. We could even expand the shop if we need to. Brawls up. Uh, classroom in. Laundry in. Let's get laundry done because laundry is very important. 
five laundry machines and one a table. Ironing boards. It's the best way to place an ironing board. Which way is the best way to place an ironing board? Mm. So you need them so you can be right next to them. I think that should do. And then laundry baskets. Typical laundry baskets. You go, ah, like that because they're going to get shifted anyway. So it really doesn't matter what you do with that one. Okay. So, so far, we've had a death. Which is not good. Uh, what well, we've done some grants though. We got some grants done. Uh, max sec infrastructure we'll go for, and education reform program we might as well go for as well, which gives us some more money. So, how are we doing with this one? So far, we're doing okay. What I'm thinking of doing is changing that cleaning cupboard to put the cleaning cupboard up there because it makes more sense having that as the pr the that is the uh, the holding cell. And that is the cleaning cupboard because, you know, all of the work stuff is over there and then we've got, you know, other prisoners around here. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to switch these two around, but not yet because what I'm going to do instead is go to foundation, building, not going to have auto lighting. And I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in and that in and that in. And then there is all of our big, big major. Well, that's basically the major building now. That's it. We have 30 grand left to furnish them rooms and get the, well, all this other stuff. So CCTV, CCTV monitors. I need to increase the size of my security force. There you go. There's that now done. And yeah, I think I've got enough money to really progress on with that one. Whew. Right. So, let me just run a bit of water pipage over to there. An electrical cable there, and that connects that up, which means all of them are now connected. Let me just check my gangs a second. Yep, none of these are controlled. But obviously, these are. The cells automatically have control, you see. Right. So, so far, so good. Danger level is okay. Obviously, there's a lot of suppression being handed out by, you know, via the armed guards. I think a policy is alright that we've set up. Intake will sort out once we've done these. The grants were alright. The programs, we haven't run anything yet. We could go for it. Nobody's interested in the kitchen safety and hygiene, even though we've got people assigned there. Behavioral therapy, we might as well start that. Get four in the queue. And... Alcoholics group therapy, we will start, but we haven't actually got a room for that. No equipment. Ah, that's right. We haven't got any room for that. Spiritual guidance will start that, certainly. One interested in the foundation education program, we haven't got a room for that one. So we, what we'll do, we will start them both because it will cost money, but it, it's also going to remind me that we haven't got an equipment. So I'll need to get on with that. Next episode, then, I need to get an alcoholic group therapy area, which I don't know where to put that. I could put some chairs in these rooms, these common rooms, you see. But then that's a little bit dodgy because these common rooms could be taken over by the gangs, in which case we'll have problems, but I don't know where else to put it. We need to move this holding cell over to there and then that cleaning cupboard over there. We need to get that classroom sort of put in and set up and then obviously all of these other rooms. So there's a lot more to do and obviously a lot more to watch once the and, and manage once the, we've actually built and obviously all of the uh, all of the prisoners are running around, you know, doing doing gang things, whatever they are. Anyway, next episode, all of that thing I've just mentioned. Comments in the comments as always. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.